So far, we have been discussing infinitesimal translation. Here we are going to discuss finite translation. Finite translation means that a particle is placed at a point x and this particle is shifting to another point another point x dash. at a finite distance delta x dash okay actually this shift has happened by the contribution of infinitesimal translations the small distance is dx dash that's infinitesimal translation. So a finite translation to a distance delta x dash, there is a spatial displacement by a finite amount can be obtained by successively compounding infinitesimal translations. Okay, this infinitesimal translations and this finite translation is, is uh, made up of compounding infinitesimal translations or adding infinitesimal translations. Consider a finite translation in x direction. So we can write this delta x dash equal to n number of infinitesimal translations. n number of infinitesimal translations. And we can write finite translation operator in x direction as t of delta x dash in x direction operating on a ket position ket equal to x dash plus delta x dash in x direction By using the property of infinitesimal translation operator, we can write t of dx dash dx dash plus dx dash plus dx dash plus etc equal to equal to t of dx dash into t of dx dash etc. This I can write t of n dx dash equal to t of dx dash this right side hold raised to if n tends to infinity that means this divisions dx dash becomes so small so we can write the above steps t of delta x in x direction that is finite translation operator equal to limit n tends to infinity t of d x dash whole raised to n and this is equal to limit n tends to n to n equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 minus i p x divided by h cross dx dash this is because uh, we are considering in x direction only finite translation in x direction only so whole raised to n that is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 minus i p x divided by h cross d uh, delta x dash because dx dash uh, from equation 1 dx dash equal to delta x dash divided by n uh, and this Finally, we can write t of delta x x cap delta x in x direction equal to equal to e raised to that is exponential minus i p <laughs> divided by p x divided by h cross delta x dash delta x dash. This is because the definition of e raised to minus x is limit 
n tends to infinity 1 minus x by n whole raised to n this term is in this form so we can write a raised to minus i p x divided by h cross delta x dash okay this is finite translation operator the form of finite translation operator form of uh, finite finite translation translation operator we have learned infinite simul translation operator infinite simul translation operator as t of dx dash equal to 1 minus i p uh, we can write in x direction so this is in three dimension we can write dx dash equal to 1 minus i p x divided by h cross d x dash d x dash okay so we can we can differentiate finite translation operator and infinitesimal translation operator e raised to minus i p x divided by h cross delta x dash in x direction as well as infinitesimal translation operator t of d x dash equal to 1 minus i p x divided by h cross d x dash in x direction okay just a correction needed this is t of d uh, delta x dash this is also t of delta x dash